All right, welcome. Perhaps you watched my video on parallel line equations. Now we're going to start exploring our perpendicular line equations. Now the good news is, if you're fairly comfortable with parallel line equations, this isn't a huge step. There isn't that much more involved. So what we'll do is we'll start out with a basic equation in slope-intercept form. Now if you remember, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So you want to make sure that you have the, your equation in this form. I'm going to give you an equation in this form. I'm just going to make one up. Y equals negative 3x plus 6. Okay. Now, I want to come up with an equation that will give me a line that is perpendicular to this equation's line. Now, much like with the parallel line equations, you want to be focused on the slope. Now, the slope here is represented by m. So we're going to look, and we have negative 3 here. Negative 3 is the slope in this equation. Now, for parallel lines, you have the same slope, but it's a bit different for perpendicular lines. You're going to take the slope you're given, and you want the opposite reciprocal. So you're going to notice down here, I'm going to write perpendicular slope. All right. Now, first, I want the reciprocal. Now, the reciprocal, I like to think of it as the reciprocal. You're going to take that number and you're going to flip it. So my reciprocal of negative 3 would end up being negative 1 third. But notice I'm not putting the negative here. Because for perpendicular slope, you want the opposite reciprocal. So the opposite reciprocal of this would be positive 1 third. So I'm even going to put that down here. Opposite reciprocal. So getting the reciprocal is half the battle. What you also want is you want to make sure it's the opposite. So the opposite reciprocal of negative 3 would be positive 1 third. And now all I have to do is come up with some equations where I have positive 1 third as my slope. I'm going to use different y-intercepts because I can use any y-intercept I want at this point. So let's see, an example of a perpendicular line to this equation would be I could do y equals positive one-third x, um, we'll say minus two. You could go y equals positive one-third x plus 10,000. Now that's huge, but guess what? It's going to be perpendicular because, again, it has the opposite reciprocal of our original equation. Now this might seem easy. You might be thinking, all right, I got the hang of this. This is pretty good. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Sometimes they want a perpendicular line that goes through a specific point, much like you did with the parallel lines. This isn't that bad. If you can handle the parallel lines going through a specific point, then you can handle this. And we'll go with the same equation. y equals negative 3x plus 6. Not a bad idea. y equals negative 3x plus 6. We want a perpendicular line, now I'm just going to abbreviate, perpendicular line that passes through, and I'm just going to make a point up. Oh, what the heck. I'll go with my birthday, 2, 8. Okay. So I want it to pass through positive 2, positive 8. All right. Now, first things first, I want to figure out what my slope is going to be. So I look here, and notice my slope is negative 3. I want the opposite reciprocal. So I know the slope for this line, whatever the y-intercept is going to be, we don't know yet, but I know my slope is going to be, again, go with that reciprocal and make it the opposite, positive 1 third. Now I have to somehow come up with some, uh, an equation that's going to pass through these points. Now there are a few ways to do it. This is, one, this is the way I like. I look here, I have a slope. I look here, I have a point. Hmm. I have a point, I have a slope. Point, slope, point, slope. You guys see where I'm going here? You nailed it. Point, slope, form. We like point, slope, form. When we have this information, it's easy. We can just plug stuff in. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up my equation. Now, the point, slope, form equation, if you remember, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. All right, now I start plugging in my numbers. Now remember, 
The Y and the X, I'm going to keep them. They're not going anywhere. What I'm going to plug in are the values I have here. Now, I know my slope now. I've got a slope, and I'm going to write this in red. What the heck? All right, cool. So I've got my slope for this new equation. It's going to be positive one-third. Now, over here, i got to keep the X, but I'm going to use the X value from my point up here. So I'm going to go up here, and I've got 2. So I'm going to plug in 2. And now, let's see, for my Y value, I'm going to plug in the Y. So I go up here, I've got 8. So now i got Y minus 8. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the distribute property. Boom, just use my little loops here. I'm going to simplify it, I get one third x minus two thirds and then over here I get y minus eight. Alright, I'm almost there. I want an equation in slope intercept form so I want to get the y all alone. Now, a couple ways I could do this. I could eliminate the fractions which you know what, I think I'm going to do that. I think it's not a bad idea. To pr Actually, I'm not going to do that. You know why? It's going to make this a little messy. And I can handle this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add 8 to each side. I know fractions aren't some of your things, but you want to get fairly comfortable with them. You are going to see them. So that gives me my y all alone, which I like. And I get my 1 third x minus... Now if I take positive 8 and I take away 2 thirds from that, that's going to leave me with 7 and 1 third. And I have my equation. This equation gives me a line that will be perpendicular to the line from that equation. So again, for the slopes, you want to take your original slope, and you go with the opposite reciprocal. Plug it into a point-slope equation, point-slope form, and then you just simplify it till you get y alone. And that's what it is. It looks a little messy when you're dealing with these fractions. That's the one thing that, you know, isn't great about this. But it is doable. We're going to try another one now. Now let's see. I'm going to use a fraction for my slope this time. Make it a little more interesting, right? So I'm going to go with y equals... I could go with an easy fraction. I'm not going to, though. I'm going to go with 2 fifths x. And I'll go with plus 1. I'll make that easy. All right. Now, I want a perpendicular line and perpendicular line through. And now I just got to come up with a point here. I'm going to go with, what the heck, 8, 4. There we go. Cool. All right. Now, the slope for my perpendicular line. Again, I look at the slope up here, 2 fifths. I want the opposite reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 over 5, I'm just going to flip it around. I'm going to get 5 over 2. Now, I'm looking for the opposite reciprocal, so it's not going to be positive 5 over 2. My slope is now going to be negative 5 over 2. So now I have the slope for this equation. Now, again, I'm going to take a look here. I'm going to go to my green color. What the heck? I've got a point, and I've got a slope. Hmm. A point in a slope. Sounds like it's time to use some point-slope form. See? Told you to come and use this. All right, so now... My point slope form, get rid of that. Come on, get out of there. Scram. I'm going to write it right here. Y minus Y1 equals M, and then parentheses X minus X1. A lot of people are want to fill these in, but guess what? You're going to leave that Y and X all alone. Just leave them. Plug in that slope you got. Negative 5 over 2. Keep that X. Now for this, I want to plug in my X value, which is 8. Plug in my 8. Now over here, I'm going to keep my y. I'm going to plug in my y value, which my y value here is 4. So it's going to be minus 4. Now it looks like I'm getting somewhere. Now I have to distribute. I want to simplify, so I'm going to distribute. And, you know, I wish there were more colors here. I really do, but what can you do? Eh, I'll make a color. Purple. There you go. What the heck, right? All right, so I'm going to distribute now. Boom, boom. All right, so I get 
slide my work over here, no big deal. Y minus 4 equals negative 5 over 2. Come on, stylus, we can do this. X. Now, when I multiply this, I could do it straight across or I could cross simplify. I'm going to cross simplify. 8 and 2, both of this by 2, that makes me, gives me 4 here. Negative 5 times negative 4 will give me positive 20. That's cool. Now I got, don't have to deal with some fractions. This is good. Now I want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of that minus 4 because I want to get that y alone. So I'm going to add 4 to each side. That leaves me here with y equals negative 5 over 2, x plus 24. And I now have an equation that gives me a perpendicular line that goes through coordinates 8, 4 right here. Excellent. So again, remember the steps. Find that slope. You want the opposite reciprocal. Turn it into that opposite reciprocal, you got your new slope. Take that new slope, and then, since you have a point in the slope, plug it into point slope form. Once you do that, you simplify, get y all alone, and boom, you got your equation. And that's how you come up with a perpendicular line equation that passes through a specific point. Boom. All right, so we're going to go with, let's see, 